For these examples, I'm going to convert these set of numbers into the sign and magnitude format. In order to keep these videos reasonably short and readable, I'm going to stick to using 16-bit numbers. But if you're asked to do this on homework, you might need to write 32 or even 64 bits. There won't be a big difference between writing a 16-bit number and a 64-bit number. Just you'll have a whole lot more bits to write out. And for small numbers, we can represent them just as well with 16 bits as 64. So our first number is 13. So the first thing I want to do is convert 13 from decimal into binary. So 13 in base 10 is 8 plus 4 plus 1 in binary. And because I'm using the sign and magnitude format, I'm going to use the first bit of my number as the sign. 13 is a positive number, so I'll write down a 0 for my sign bit. Now I want to write down the magnitude of my number. I have 15 more bits to do this in, so I'm going to end up with a whole lot of extra zeros on the left-hand side. Adding zeros to the left-hand side of a number won't change its magnitude. Accordingly, adding zeros to the left-hand side of my magnitude will also not change its value. So there is 13 in sign and magnitude format. I've got a sign bit, and then I've got my magnitude. My second example is negative 76. And here I'll have a 64, no 32s, no 16s. I'll have an 8. 8 plus 64 will give me 72, plus 4 is 76. And this is a negative number in binary. So this time, my number is negative, so my sign bit will be a 1. And then I just need to encode this binary number in the remaining 15 bits. So I will add a number of leading zeros. and then the actual magnitude of my number. And that's it. That's negative 76 in sign and magnitude format. Next number is 42. 42 in decimal is 32 plus 8 plus 2 binary. And this is again a positive number, so my sign bit will be a 0. Then I just need my magnitude, so I'll have a number of leading zeros. And then my actual magnitude. And there's 42 in sign and magnitude. The last number we've got is negative 18. Negative 18 in decimal is negative 16 plus negative 2. So again, I have a negative number, so my sign bit is a 1. And then I just need my magnitude. So I start with a number of leading zeros, and then the actual precision of my magnitude. And there's negative 18 in sign and magnitude format.